Searching CINAHL, presented by Reference and Educational Services of the Moody Medical Library. What is CINAHL? CINAHL is a database, and CINAHL is an acronym for Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. This particular database covers the field of nursing in 17 allied health fields from 1937 to the present. It has over 3.6 million records and is growing monthly. Over 4,900 journals are included, and your search results may also show audiovisuals, computer programs, dissertations, books or book chapters, and critical paths. Some search tips before we get started. Write down what you're looking for. A phrase or a sentence describing your needs may help focus your topic in your mind. The PICO format may also be useful. From your sentence, identify the key terms to search because you aren't going to type in the entire sentence in the search box. In fact, you're going to break it down to one concept at a time. This will help take advantage of the mapping feature of the database. It also makes it easier to reuse terms if you decide they need to be combined a little bit differently once you get started. PICO is patient or problem, intervention, comparison if that's applicable, outcome, and sometimes we look for a particular study design. So the patient might be elderly patients with bed sores, interventions would be nursing assessments or nursing protocols, not really comparing them in this particular instance. Uh, I want to provide optimal care and I need to see research articles on the topic. This would turn into the question, for elderly patients with bed sores, what nursing protocols or nursing assessments are available to provide care? Find nursing research articles written in the last five years. When I look at my question, I've highlighted the key things that are important for my search. Elderly, bed sores, nursing protocols, nursing assessments, research articles, last five years. Some of these things will be handled by search terms that I actually enter into the system. Other things I'll handle through limits, which I'll look for on the, on the interface. So search terms are bed sores, nursing protocols, and assessments. Limits are going to be my age, the research articles, and the last five years. I'm now in the CINAHL database. I got here by clicking on CINAHL from the library's homepage. Just above the search box is a check mark next to suggest subject terms. This means that the search interface is going to help me go from my way of referring to the world into the controlled vocabulary of the database. This means that we're searching the ideas and not the actual string of characters. So I type in bed sores. I click search. And it's telling me that bed sores, I need to use the term pressure ulcer. Again, when I use the subject heading pressure ulcer, I'm going to get records whether the author called them bed sores, pressure ulcers, or decubitus ulcers, or what other, other synonyms might exist for this topic. When I select the term, it's highlighted, and I can see that there's a check mark in the explode column. Explode is a feature that takes advantage of the fact that the subject headings are arranged hierarchically and that there's parent and child relationships among the terms. It's a very comprehensive way of searching and the rule of thumb is to always explode. Explode means I get the parent term, any children terms that are indented, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, etc. Again, very, very comprehensive and uh, the rule of thumb is always explode. Major concept says only give me the particular term if it represents the main idea of the article. It may seem tempting to click major concept on everything, but the rule of thumb for it is to use it sparingly or not at all. If I don't use the major concept feature at all, I won't miss anything on my topic, but my results may have a few articles that are maybe a little less relevant. However, if I use, do decide I need to use major concept, I say use it sparingly, and that means one concept per search. So am I more interested in pressure ulcers, or am I more interested in the nursing assessments or nursing protocols? I very frequently leave this feature off. The next thing it's asking me is if I want to include any subheadings. The default is to include all subheadings, and most of the time, that's exactly what I need to do. I only use a subheading if I can say the subheading along with the subject heading and make a phrase that's part of my question. They can be useful. In this case, if I needed to diagnose pressure ulcers, if that were my question, well, here's a diagnosis subheading. If I needed to treat pressure ulcers, well, look, there's diet therapy, drug therapy, nursing, prevention and control, radiotherapy, rehabilitation, surgery, 
and therapy. And this plain old therapy at the end is a catch-all for treatments that don't fit into those other categories. Again, for this particular question, the subheadings aren't helpful, so I'm going to go ahead and just click the Search Database button. I'm now back at the main search page, and I can see that I have results for pressure ulcers, but I don't want to start looking at them yet. I need to start putting in those other terms that help with my search. So I'm going to type in nursing assessment. Oops, I'm going to spell it correctly. There was an exact match. I'll click a check mark. This particular term is not explodable, so it did not fill in the term, the check box here for me. Um, I don't want this to be the main idea, so I'm going to ignore this. The subheadings aren't particularly helpful for this question, so I'll just click the Search Database button. And I'll do the same thing for nursing protocols. I check it and go ahead and click Search Database. Now I have all of my search terms here in the search history. Right now they're sitting out here completely unrelated to one another, so I need to put them together. My choices are to combine with OR or to combine with AND. OR is an expansive way of searching. It's a way of putting like topics together or synonym building. If I can say that I need any of these things or either, that's a good clue that I need to use OR. In this particular instance, an article can be about nursing assessment or it can be about nursing protocols. It doesn't have to be about both of them at the exact same time. So I'm going to click the check marks next to those and choose to combine those with OR. Now I want these to overlap with pressure ulcer, so I need to choose AND. AND is the restrictive way of combining and forcing topics to overlap. So now I'm down to 558 results, which is much better than the tens and twenty thousands of references that I was seeing in some of those other search statements. However, I'm not done searching. There's still more I can do to make this number more manageable and match the, exactly what I'm looking for. And now I need to think about limits. I'm going to scroll down, and just to the left of my search results, I'm going to see a limit to section. I can take care of some limits right here. For example, research articles or the publication years. Or if I know I'm going to do several things at once, I can go ahead and click on Show More and see every single limit available in CINAHL. And here I can click Research Article. I can type in the years that I need. If I scroll down a little bit, I can even see there's English language, so I can make sure my results are all in English. And then finally, here's the Age Group box. So my patient was elderly, and whenever you have age, you need to deal with that through age groups rather than trying to turn that into a search term. And the age groups available start at fetus and go all the way up through age 80 and over. And then down at the bottom of the box they have some convenience groupings for all infant, all child, or all adult. To get to the elderly, I'm going to decide that that's 65 and but also age 80 and over. So I'm going to control click to highlight both of those ages. I'll click the search button and all of those limits will be applied to that last line of my search. And I've gone from 558 references down to 28. To look at those then I will just start scrolling down and I can start reviewing the results and working with them. This concludes the Searching CINAHL tutorial. If you have questions, please come and ask us. Ask a Librarian links or the chat button are available on the library's homepage. You can reach us by telephone at 409-772-2372, by text message at 409-433-9976, or visit us in person at the reference desk. We're there Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. Thank you.